Hello friends, in this short video I'd like to give you a channel update, talk about some of the places that we went to in 2023, some statistics on the YouTube channel, how it's doing so far, and then finally a 2024 plan, a look ahead. I've got some exciting things planned and I'd like to tell you about that. You'll notice in the thumbnail I took a little liberty from the Ben Stiller film, The Secret Life of Walter Mitty and I renamed it The Secret Life of Duncan. And I'll tell you about that at the end of the video. So please stay tuned, watch to the end. So 2023 has really been a great year for the channel had a lot of fantastic adventures and also a lot of personal growth and development in terms of uh, producing YouTube videos and becoming a better storyteller. So uh, I think some of the highlights for me for 2023 certainly would be my trip to Baja California Sur for whale watching on the Pacific side. So I did that in, in February. I also took a trip around Florida's east and west coast by motorcycle, and that was really a lot of fun, but it was really fantastic, and seeing a lot of special places down in the Keys by motorcycle was definitely one of the highlights. I've also produced some videos about my hometown here of Charleston, South Carolina, and one of the videos that I did, in fact, had to do with Castle Pinckney, which was out behind me. Uh, which was a fort that was heavily used during the Civil War. As part of 2023, there was also a lot of learning and growth with related to uh, equipment and software. So try not to get too caught up in all the technical details, but definitely finding the right settings that, uh, that work best for me. So that's a short recap for 2023. So next I'd like to give you some of the statistics for the channel and how it's been doing so far. I've had the good fortune that the past four or five videos that I've produced have really gone very well. So I'm currently at over 25,000 individual views on all of my videos, so that's a great accomplishment. Um, over 1,000 hours of watch time and also something that I'm very proud of is that I recently just crossed over 1,800 subscribers. So all of those things together uh, give me a lot of confidence um, for the future to continue on with what I'm doing. So I, I really appreciate each and every one of you that have watched my, watched my videos, given me feedback, given me comments, and subscribed to my channel. That really means a lot to me, and I appreciate each and every one of you. One of my challenges is I really have a lot of diverse hobbies. I've had some people tell me that what I need to do is find a niche and really focus on that niche, but I really think that that's not my nature, that's not what I wanna do. I wanna continue on these travels in these different passions, and I wanna document what I see from my point of view. So what I have done is I've created in YouTube playlist for each of these individual genres so you can actually look at one playlist or another and find which one interests you the most and that will help. So that's a short overview of some of the statistics. Thank you again to each and every one of you that have watched my videos. So 2024 has already started off fast and furious. I had a trip down to Orlando in January, and one of the things that I did was a scuba dive at Dive Quest, which is located in Epcot uh, at Disney, and that was really a lot of fun, really enjoyed that, produced a short video on that. But the thing I'm really excited about in 2024 is a trip that I have coming up in just a couple of weeks, going to Baja California Sur and the Baja Peninsula in Mexico. So really looking forward to that. The main topic while I'm down there is whale watching on the Pacific coast and a little town called Puerto San Carlos, which is located right along Magdalena Bay. And it was really fantastic. I went down last year, really had a great time. So I booked two days as a private tour 
with Magdalena Bay whale watching and really looking forward to that. Of course, while I'm down in Baja California Sur, I'll hit all the usual towns. Uh, I love some of the cities, uh, Los Barillas, La Paz, Todos Santos, um, Cabo San Lucas, of course. So really looking forward to going down and enjoying that again for a couple of weeks, starting in early February. Also been working on my Spanish, um, so I use Duolingo. When I go to the local Mexican restaurants, I torture them with my bad Spanish, but uh, that's really been a lot of fun uh, working with that. I'd like to take another motorcycle trip, but I don't have it planned right now. Um, I have some new equipment. I have a new helmet and communication system that I really want to try out to really get much better in helmet audio. Try to get that planned uh, maybe in the spring before it gets too hot. So that's it so far. So if you've watched the movie The Secret Life of Walter Mitty, he was a archivist that worked at Life Magazine and the storyline is that Life Magazine was going out of business and they wanted to produce the last cover. One of the key negatives that was supposed to be the cover of the Life magazine came up missing. So the connection with that movie to me has everything to do with YouTube. So YouTube has let me become this explorer, traveler, and adventurer to be able to go to some of these places and document my experiences and I really have appreciated that. I really enjoyed that, uh, to be able to have these videos as a record of really what I've seen and what I've experienced in kind of a first-person point of view way to be able to relate some of these beautiful places that I've traveled to you. That's the connection. That's the secret life that I've developed through YouTube. As I close, I again want to thank each of you that have watched my videos, have subscribed, and have given me comments and feedback. That's really been beneficial for me, and I really love the engagement, and I would like to have more of that here in 2024. So thank you again to all of you that watched my videos and gave me feedback and comments.